Hey, IDS 302 Session C. Um, how's it going today? It's time for class, huh? Um, here we are. It's uh, Thursday morning here where I am, March 26th. And um, so I'm on your schedule right now, your time. Hey, just a quick note. Remember, I put that announcement out that if you get me the Easter eggs by end of day today, you get the full 10 points. If you get them after today, it's five points and you have three days to get them to me. OK, I put that out in announcement just in case everybody knows, um, because I'm doing these twice a week. That's up to 20 points. That's a lot. I typically in my 301 class, often I just do five points a week for videos. So you guys are getting four times that. Um, and, uh, you know, that's well, that's on me. I decided that way. But the accountability factor is same day. OK, so that's why I'm trying to get this out by 1030. Um, it's 918 here, so I'm probably pushing it. Um, today, I'm going to talk about how to make your survey. And uh, I think I'm prepared, although I'm going to make this thing up like from scratch off my head. I don't have anything prepared. I want to show you how to do it, um, you know, just like right now. So I've got Governor Cuomo on here. My TV's giving me light, front lighting here while I do this. So let's slide it over to um to uh this okay all right so wait a second here let's go back to this the correct page i'm trying to set this thing up so you can see it that was working perfect okay there we go all right i guess that now my problems me my hands reaching around this but all right so this is surveymonkey.com. Follow my arrow, right? Um, go there. I'm already logged in as a client, but you can get your login for free. Remember, do not pay anything. I'm being very emphatic in my look right now, just so you can picture me. Do not pay for anything. All right. Okay, so let's log in here. Like I said, it might be awkward because I got to reach around my iPad to do this. But OK, so here I've got this stuff. You can see I've done a number of different. Uh, it's just a dashboard here, I guess. Um, so what I would do, go up here to create survey. Remember, these are free at the 10 questions. Let's do start from scratch. OK. And let's I'm just going to call this Boy, I'm going to be so awkward here. Uh, IDS 302, oops, 302C 2020. Okay, survey category, doesn't really matter. I'm doing education, I guess. Um, all right, so keep going now. We're gonna do one question at a time. Okay, that's a good one to use, all right. We're gonna click on that and then create the survey. Okay, so. In an effort to do this uh, on a particular topic, perhaps, like I said, I'm winging this thing. So this is what we look like. I'm going to do this survey about, uh, like, for example, what are some of the opinions, perceptions, and experiences regarding the coronavirus, COVID-19, revealed in a survey of random adults? Okay, I bet you wish you had that, right? Uh, <laughs> because it's... A little late. Hold on. I got to back this thing up where I can't even use two hands. All right. Let me check. You guys can see this okay? Good. <clears throat> All right. Um, enter your question. Okay. First question. See how you got a drop down menu here for all these questions. We're going to do single text box. And the question is, what is your age? Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to save this question. Uh oh, should the next question. Okay. Notice this is a empty box. Easter egg number one. It's kind of a long one, but stay with me here. Age is the only open ended question. I want you guys to see my to do list. <laughs> so, age is the only open ended question. This is a quantitative survey. Remember that? Therefore, everybody gets the same choice of answers except for age, right? Do not, do not use, do not, I'm shaking my finger, do not use any template question about age that groups the age. 
okay? You'll see them here. Don't use them. Let people fill in their age. You don't want 18 to 24, 25 to 32, 32, you know, you don't want that. Why don't you want that? Because your survey is not going to have that many responses, okay? All right. Yes, if you get 50, it might be cumbersome, a little bit difficult. Typically, you're not going to get more than 30, okay? Maybe you will, maybe you won't, okay? Um, Compile your own age groupings. Do not use theirs because you're just not going to have that many. You're going to have a lot of uh, age grouping in your age group, your peer age. Why? Because fellow classmates will do it. Other people that in your age bracket, okay, under 30, let's say. <clears throat> My age bracket, there won't be that many. So why have a grouping of, you know, 60 to 65 when I might be the only one to do it? You know, um, why have a grouping of 18 to 22 when, you know, so Keep it separate, then make your own group later, okay? Make your own groups later, however you want to see it. You want to do, you can, you can do different groups, 30 and over, 29 and under. You can do, you know, different groups, all right? So that's it, all right, so next question. This one is going to be multiple choice. That's the default. The question is, what is your gender? All right, now uh, here we go. So we're going to say... Female, male, other. As I understand it, there's between 16 and 32 recognized gender variations in our culture at this point. Um, let's go with other at this time to keep it simple choices, but this is what you want to do, okay? So what does this say here? Not nothing. Okay, that, don't worry about that. All right, so that question is done. Question two. Let's put a new question. Now we get into the nitty gritty. Okay, look at this again. We've got multiple choice, check boxes, star rating, file. Here's the ones I want you to focus on. Yes, multiple choice, but even better is, where is it? Um, oh gosh. I thought I had to choose all that apply. They might have took it off. They knew we were. They knew we were um, doing a workaround on that. Let's see where's checkboxes. I think checkboxes works. Yes. Okay. So let's use checkboxes. I'm sorry. So let's just start with choose all that apply. This is one of those questions where you can fit seven question, unlimited questions into this one question, right? Instead of asking everything separately, you would ask, choose all that apply, okay? Um, I think COVID-19, I think the COVID-19 pandemic is fake news, okay? Another one. Okay, I uh, uh, believe the COVID-19 pandemic is very serious. Okay, now I'm just giving you general. I wouldn't ask these questions. I'd ask them in different ways, okay, than this because um, these are more Likert scale type of questions, but I'm just throwing them in here because I want to show you the difference. Now that like, gives you the difference there, but I also want to do like, because it's choose all the apply. You could say um, my uh, <clears throat> lifestyle has changed considerably because of the pandemic. Okay. I um do not i am going about my life as usual pre pandemic okay let's try let's change it up i know someone who has or had COVID-19. I am getting a lot 
more done at home because I am in isolation. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just not, again, I'm using this off the top of my head, but I'm showing you that you can do so many different angles to your survey in this one choose all that apply because you're not staying on one particular question, right? Okay. I mean, you know, you, um, the weather in Phoenix is good, so I don't mind being stuck at home. I mean, I'm just ranting. This is obviously ridiculous, but you see what I'm saying? You could keep going here, choose all that apply, and you can then get different answers from people, okay, on, on actually on different questions in here, because you don't have to ask the question now. Instead of saying, do you know someone who has or had COVID-19? No, you're just saying, I know someone. In the same way, you could say, I do not know of anyone who has contracted COVID-19. Okay, so again, you can see the point where I'm going here. So that's done. Now, next question. Okay, so here's where we're going to get into a Likert scale. This is a Likert scale. All right. Now, the second um, Easter egg is, I'll look at my phone for this one, my notes on my phone, so I have it written down. The second Easter egg is zero yes or no questions. Zero yes or no questions. You know what I mean by that, right? That means there is none. There will be no yes or no questions in this. You do a yes or no question, I'm going to ding you because you didn't, you didn't ask it, okay? So, for example, if I ask that question, choose that, I'll, I'll apply. Um, has your life, instead of saying, has your life changed, let's say lifestyle changed since the pandemic started? Okay, let's just say if I was to ask this question, okay? Um, that could be yes or no, right? Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. What do we learn from that? We learned nothing. We learned squat. So instead, on the following scale, identify, choose how, measure how far, change this thing. I tell you, we're doing this live, people. We're doing it live. Estimate how much your daily lifestyle has changed since the COVID-19 pandemic. Now let's do this. Because of, we're seeing it real time, COVID-19. Okay, so there's the question. Now here's your scale on the left side zero um, hasn't changed one bit 100 totally changed my life center some changes some not. Some things change. Some not. Okay, I can probably think of better wording for this if I were, you know, if I had time. But I want to show you this live, right? So you see what happens. We're gonna let's go to the next question. Now, if we were to go back up and look at the one we just made, check it out. So on the following scale, estimate. So now somebody can instead of saying yes or no. I can say, well, say me, I would be, I'm not, it doesn't work now because we haven't saved it, but I would probably be somewhere in here. I mean, it depends on what situation. Like I said, you guys know I was going to get out of town after semester was over, spend it up north in Milwaukee, enjoy my summer golfing festivals. That whole thing blew up in my face. And so uh, now it's changed. I got I actually changed a lot. I got an apartment, 
<clears throat> and um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so new question. So remember how we're doing these. This is very important. A Likert scale replaces yes or no question. This is great. Choose all that apply because you can squeeze in so many. This is that workaround. This is the hack to this site not allowing you more than 10 questions, okay? Because you can get so much in in 10 questions. These two are static. They're solid. You need these. Number one and two. Keep them that way, okay? All right, three, four. Now let's look at a different one. Okay, here's, let's go to a matrix rating scale. I don't want you to be intimidated by that. Okay, choose um, from the following scale. I don't know, again, okay. So here's what I'm talking about. These are single, okay, these are rows, all right? So rows go across like this, okay? Um, let's just say, um, uh, um, Let's just say, come on, um, okay, effect on my job, effect on my schooling, I don't know, effect on my family, effect on my Social life, I'm just winging this, like I said. You can see how it creates a new one every time I add one, so you can keep going, right? Effect on my friends. All right, so let's just do that, all right? So we got some rows up and down. They could be anything. I don't have to start them all the same. They could be any which way, because remember, we got a general statement up here. Now, columns, these are going to go up and down. It's a matrix, so it's rows, columns, okay? So enter a column right um let's just say uh no effect whatsoever okay let's say minimal to no effect let's see um some uh effect let's say um uh Let's say, um, I can't think right now. So let's just go effect, let's just say moderate uh, to strong effect, I guess. And then let's say uh, huge effect. Let's just do that. Okay. Now let's save this. Let's, I mean, let's go to the next question. Take a look at what we just did. Okay, see what we got here? We got rows and columns. And it's similar to the Likert scale, but just like choose all that apply, this is like the choose all that apply, whereas you can fit all kinds of Likert scales in one question, right? You just have to have some kind of semblance of understanding for people to do it, okay? So, and I guess I could have wrote more. Um, choose from the following uh, regarding how COVID-19 affected the following or something, you know what I mean? So you see how I've got here. So people can follow this, they understand what's going on. All right, so now pretty much, that's pretty much it, okay? In terms of what you need to do. You could, some of you, would you could use ranking, okay? So for example, let's just say I was doing social media. Um, uh, choose all that you, use um and it could be different but you know it could be okay i'm just saying um choose all the uh platforms slash apps that you use from the following so that would go okay facebook Twitter, Instagram, God, what's that other one now? TikTok. Um, where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Um, Pinterest. I don't know if anybody even use that anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what else you got here. 
Tinder. No, I don't think I should even use that. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what that is. It's not a single site. I don't know. Okay, so let's say you have these. You can do all you want here. Um, wish you could think of more. All right, let's go with this. Let's go Hulu. Oops, let's go uh, Netflix. Obviously, I'm mixing up gender, I mean, types of things here, right? Uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. Um, I, I Don't do other. Don't do fill in the blank. It screws you all up. Give everybody the same choices. Okay. All right. Now, let's just say this is it. You could have 30 of them. I don't care. So people are going to choose then from what they're going to, and they're going to be able to choose multiple ones, not just a single choice. This is choose all that apply again. It's not Okay, and it's so it's a little different than this this one. No, it's not the same thing. Sorry. Okay, but anyways, here's what I want to do about this. Let's say you did something like this, but the next question you could go with ranking, and then okay, please rank the following on your preferred app platform. I, again, wording is dicey. Now, here's what I do here. Put the exact same ones in here. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Pinterest. I don't know if that's how you even spell it. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Okay, I think I got them out of order. I did, but okay, it doesn't matter. I have all the same ones, okay? What they're going to be doing here then is, okay, they're going to go and they would be ranking these. So it's the same choice. Now you Now you can say, well... You know, 80% of my users have at least two or three of these or have one of these or, you know, have Twitter, have this and that. But the same choices now, how they rank them, they may use seven or eight of these, but how do they rank them? You know, Twitter is my favorite all the way. And that'd be a number one. It's not open. Okay, anyways. All right. So let's just say that we were done. Okay, now I expect you to use whatever it takes. Um, well, there's a done button, I guess. Whatever it takes for you to um, get your point across, get the data that you need, right? Okay, so this is the survey. Now, um, I wanna show you about how to do it. Let's see, can we do it here? No, this is just the, uh, this is just, uh, edited. okay. So let's go with, um, here's, okay, let me go to summary again. Want to see what happens, all right, okay. Uh, I want to make sure I know what to do with this thing here. Okay, this is the survey. One page, seven questions. Okay. Don't want to buy responses. Do not do this. Okay. Do not use any of this stuff. Here's what I'm going to show you. Okay. It's a draft. So let's do this now. How would you like to collect responses to survey? Send your surveys by email, by the weather, share a link page. This is the way to go right here. Okay, so we're going to click on this one. Now, we're not we're going to go get web link. Okay, this is the best one to use. All right, because you can use it everywhere. So let's, let's do that. All right, let's click on that. This is important, you guys, because everybody always sends me the wrong link. Don't send me the link from up here. Up here, meaning up here. Don't send me that link. Send me, because you can go like this, and that's not going to work, okay? You need to create this link from down here, uh, like I'm showing you here. Now, copy. All right, so I copied it. Let's see what happens, huh? All right, new message. Let's send it to myself. Survey link. And I'm going to put it right here. Click down to make it live. I'm going to send that to myself. Phoenix Rising, May 10th. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so here's my survey link. That's what you guys are going to be posting. Send it to me. Let's click on it. See what happens. This is what's going to happen. There we go. Now we're in the survey. All right. So what is your age? 
39. No, I'm sorry. Obviously, I'm 61. Okay. Bastards. They get you every time. All right. Gender. See how it moves by itself, too, because we set it up that way. Choose all that apply. I think the pandemic is very serious. My lifestyle has changed considerably. I don't mind being stuck at home. Getting a lot more done. Okay, so I do not know anyone who's contracted. I thank God for that. I'll hit OK. Moves to the next one on the following scale. I spent a lot much of your life has changed. I would say it's like up to about 80 maybe, right? Okay. Choose from the following scale. Effect on my job. Some effect. I miss you guys. I don't get to see you in class, okay? That was my, like I said, my 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 fix for the year is teaching face-to-face in the spring. I didn't get to do it. it sucks. The rest of the year, online, fine, whatever. Effect on my schooling. Well, again, I guess my schooling is what you guys do. Effect on my family. Moderate to strong. Let me misspell that. <laughs> String effect, okay? Effect on my social life. I didn't have one to begin with. Uh, effect on my friends. Yes. Okay, so that's good there. Choose all the platforms I use. Twitter. Just started looking at that again. Definitely these. Okay. Now I want to rank them. Okay. Easily. Twitter is my number one. <sighs> Netflix two. Prime. Nope. Hulu. I list. I look at live TV all the time. Prime four. Uh, I have it. But whatever. Um, I don't know what the heck it is, but I've seen videos from there and I don't have that. So you see how I rank them now. So, oops, sorry, Facebook, definitely last. (laughs) Okay, so, okay. So now my survey's done, look. All right, so now it's done. Now that's it. That's what I want you guys to do for each other and and what have you. Now let's go back to this. I'm gonna refresh the screen here. Um, And let's see what happened, what's this? Your first survey response is to me. Hey, uh, the survey is open. See responses. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. When you start getting your responses, you're going to open it up to look at it. So save your pages, right? Because you want to see. See, look at it. It's giving the responses, right? Analyze the results. Be careful what you're doing here. You are not going to have enough of a comprehensive survey to... to um, worry about using their analysis too much. You can look at it, but I'm warning you, do not pay anything unless you really want to. Hey, but I'm not going to be impressed. It's not going to be worth anything more if you pay, right? Um, you just want to, um, because you'll be able to see your results, analyze it, and and you can analyze them yourself. This is part of what you're doing, right? Because you're collecting, you, you had your questions, step one and two, you thought about it in terms of an interdisciplinary problem issue, Step three, did an annotated bibliography to look at previous studies and survey, studies and uh, information and research on your topic. As you move into step four to create this survey, get it out there. And four and five to be involved in gathering your own data. Remember, this is where I feel, I personally feel that we are um, doing real research at a very low crawling level, we're gathering new data. No one else will have the data that you have, okay? So that automatically fulfills that requirement that you're adding something new. You're adding a snapshot and and, and feel free to whatever topic you have in your writing and your analysis to let them know that this occurred during a pandemic. Therefore, results could be different than they would be under happier times, okay? We'll talk more about that in future classes, how to, how to write, okay? How to write academically, yet be able to, you know, expand your, your writing uh, to, to, to include things that you might not think of, okay? I know this is one of the longest ones I ever did. It's a half an hour. Oh, my God, but that's all right. Class is, what, 40 minutes, so let's do it, whatever it takes. <clears throat> um, so... I would say that I hope you got something out of this, how to build your survey. Uh, they're due, I think, by Sunday night. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to push it back for you to get it done right. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Modules. Um, this is 
uh, module uh, five. Survey due March 29th. What's going to happen is March 28th. That's in two days. I want to see that. Um, let me do this. I am going to. I'm going to give you to the 31st. If you procrastinate and send me garbage, I'm still going to know. It's still going to be garbage. Okay. If you were going to procrastinate on the 29th and give me garbage, post garbage, then you might do the same thing on the 31st. I'm giving you this chance to allow you to get uh, get get as get as best as you can. We're under, you know, desperate times, call for desperate measures. Um, this will be open until April 4th, but remember you'll lose 10% per day. Um, I don't need to approve your surveys. I don't need you to send it to me first. I'm going to trust you because we went over things. Now, if you have questions about specific questions to ask or how to ask them, I don't mind looking at that. I really don't. But I will not review your entire survey and tell you how to fix it. Okay. Um, but I will. If you want to set up a call with me, we can talk over the phone and I can give you some real time advice if you'd like that. Um, I appreciate you caring about your survey and your work. Uh, we went through some in class. Remember, remember how crappy some of them were. I hate to say it, but it's true. It happens when people don't put the proper effort or listen to how it's done. Say, I'm just gonna make a survey, and as and it's like, it's like watch your typos. You know, make sure you get it done. You know, the way you want it. Make sure it looks good. Be proud of it. Okay, it's cool. It's, you got time to do this. Do it. Do it right. Okay. Um, Easter egg number. Uh, three, it should be, this is a record long video for me, but it's not. Uh, Easter egg number three is use, choose all that apply. Use, choose all that apply. Remember that, because if you use multiple choice, that's only good for one answer. If you use choose all that apply, you can squeeze a lot of questions in there, okay? So remember those important things. Age is the only open-ended question. Zero yes or no questions and use choose all that apply. I think you guys are going to do a great job because you have been doing a great job, probably because we have twice as much time as a seven and a half week class to do it, but so be it. And uh, this is my nice Airbnb I've been living in, my one room, and uh, I moved to my apartment Wednesday. Anybody want to help me move? No, I, I got nothing. All right. Have a good one. Forks up. Peace. Stay healthy.